Mr. Speaker, I rise to ask question number one, standing in my name, to the Honorable Prime Minister, Minister of, <clears throat> Minister of Finance, Public Service, National Security, Legal Affairs, and Grenadines Affairs. Vast stretches of seawater comprise part of our archipelagic country. Thus, there is a critical need for effective territorial patrol and search and rescue capabilities in our Coast Guard service. This is so considering the many lives that have been lost in mishaps in our waters in recent years, such as occurred earlier this year when six persons were lost while traveling by boat between Canawan and Mustique. Accordingly, will the Prime Minister and Minister of National Security please state when the St. Vincent and the Grenadines Coast Guard Service will be outfitted with an offshore patrol vessel to complement the existing small crafts and enhance territorial patrol capabilities, enforcement of fisheries laws, and search and rescue operations in our waters. I'm thinking of the kind like the Hugh Malzak and George McIntosh, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, Sorry. please permit me before I answer the question just to express my gratitude for the compliments paid to me. I had forgotten to do that by the Honorable Minister of Housing for being here for the very first time to answer questions posed to the Prime Minister. I thank him for his compliments, but I have to bear in mind that compliments like perfume are to be sniffed and not to be swallowed. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I, I know it's but temporary, but I trust that I can respond with the answers provided by the uh, public servants. As a background to the answer, Mr. Speaker, in November of 2012, a global maritime and distress safety system, under the abbreviation GMDSS, Global Maritime and Distress Safety System, was commissioned by the government this system is monitored by the Coast Guard Service as the agency responsible for maritime search and rescue. This system provides mariners, this system provides mariners, seafarers, to receive and relay distress and safety information using digital selective calls, DSE, on channel 70 or radio telephone VHS on channel 16 within 20 to 30 nautical miles to the Coast Guard base and any vessel within transmission range fitted with similar equipment. The National Telecommunication Regulation Commission also installed GMDSS handset radios at the various police stations, Rose Hall, Shadow Belair, Owea, Ashton, Paget Farm, and Barrowley to provide coverage throughout St. Vincent and the Grenadines. During the testing of the GMDSS, these areas were identified as blind spots in receiving distress, distress alerts from mariners with the intention of relaying alerts received to the Coast Guard or other mariners. The GMDSS system provides users by the, the pressing of a button, GMDSS handset owners registered with the NTRC to relay their distress information inclusive of their position, type and color of vessel, their unique maritime mobile service identity, and additional information to the Coast Guard service and other users of the system which will activate immediate response. From investigations and statistics, over 90% of seafarers who initiate distress alerts did so via a third party 
who most likely will inform the Coast Guard after their third party efforts to activate a search and rescue fail. Cell phones is the most popular. Cell phones are the most popular means used by seafarers to activate a distress alert and communicate during a response. The Coast Guard does not advocate the use of cell phones as a means of initiating a distress alert due to its limitations due to its limitations in distress alerting which put users at a disadvantage. Cell phones coverage are limited. Cell phone coverage is limited and can lose signal depending on its distance from the cell tower. It has limited battery power and the further its transmission range, the more power it uses. A distress, distress call made by cell phone only reaches to one person, while a distress call made by very high frequency or VHF, radio telephone channel number 16, or DSC channel 70, will be received by other vessels and the Coast Guard within transmission range. The answer now. The Coast Guard service was recently provided with a proposal from Swift Ships, United States of America, for a 30, 35 meters, that's 115 feet, offshore patrol vessel OPV, that's for offshore patrol vessel. This vessel has the capacity to enhance patrol of our territorial waters, 12 nautical miles from baseline, contiguous zone 24 nautical miles from baseline, and exclusive economic zone 200 nautical miles from baseline. It will also provide additional search and rescue capacities, range and duration of searches to complement our current fleet of vessels.